<laughs> the All Saga, Chapter 34 of Thrain Sigvason. There was a man named Thrain. He was the son of Sigvis, the son of Sigvat the Red. He kept house at Greetvater on Fleet Life. He was Gunnar's kinsman and a man of great mark. He had to wife Thorhilda Skothwife. She had a sharp tongue of her own and was given to jeering. Thrain loved her little. He and his wife were bidden to the wedding, and she and Beric Thorda, Scarf Aiden's daughter, Njal's wife, waited on the guests with meat and drink. Kettle was the name of the second son of Sigvis. He kept house in the Mark, east of Markfleet. He had to wife Thorgerda and Njal's daughter. Thorkel was the name of the third son of Sigvis. The fourth's name was Mord, the fifth Slambi, the sixth Sigmund, the seventh Sigurd. These were all Gunnar's kinsmen and great champions. Gunnar bade them all to the wedding. Gunnar had also bidden Valgerd the Guileful, and Wolf our priest, and their sons Runolf and Mord. Hauskuld and Hrut came to the wedding with a very great company, and the sons of Hauskuld, Thorleik, and Olaf were there. The bride, too, came along with them, and her daughter Thorgerda came also, and she was one of the fairest of women. She was then fourteen winters old. Many other women were with her, and besides there were Thorkatla Asgrim, Eladagrimson's daughter, and Njal's two daughters, Thorgerda and Helga. Gunnar had, had already many guests to meet them, and he thus arranged his men. He sat on the middle of the bench, and on the inside, away from him, Thrain Sigvason, then Wolf our priest, then Valgard the Guileful, then Mord and Runolf, then the other sons of Sigvis, Lambi said outermost of them. Next to Gunnar on the outside, away from him, sat Njal, then Scarf Aiden, then Helgi, then Grim, then Hauskuld Njalsson, then Hafer the Wise, then Ingjald from the Springs, then the sons of Thorir from Halt away east. Thorir would sit outermost of the men of Mark, for every one was pleased with the seed he got. Hauskuld, the bride's father, sat on the middle of the bench over against Gunnar, but his sons sat on the inside away from him. Hrut sat on the outside away from Hauskuld, but it is not said how the others were placed. The bride sat in the middle of the cross bench on the dais. But on one hand of her sat her daughter Thorgerda, and on the other Thorkatla Asgrim Eladagrimson's daughter. Thorhilda went about waiting on the guests, and Beric Thora bore the meat on the board. Now Thrain Sigvison kept staring at Thorgerda Gloomsdard. His wife Thorhilda saw this, and she got wroth and made a couplet upon him. Thrain, she says, gaping mouths are no wise good. Gargalain are in thy head. He rose at once from the board, and said he would put Thorhilda away. I will not bear her jibes and jeers any longer. And he was so quarrelsome about this, that he would not be at the feast unless she were driven away. And so it was that she went away. And now each man sat in his place, and they drank and were glad. Then Thrain began to speak. I will not whisper about that which is in my mind. This I will ask thee, household Dalakul's son. Wilt thou give me to wife Thorgair to thy kinswoman? I do not know that, says Hauskuld. Methinks thou art ill parted from the one thou hadst before. But what kind of man is he, Gunnar? Gunnar answered, I will not say aught about the man, because he is near of kin. But say thou about him, Njal, for all men will believe it. Njal spoke and said, That is to be said of this man, that the man is well to do for wealth, and a proper man in all things. A man, too, of the greatest mark, so that ye may well make this match with him. Then Hauskuld spoke, What thinkest thou we ought to do, kinsman Hrut? Thou mayest make the match, because it is an even one for her, says Hrut. Then they talked about the terms of the bargain, and are soon of one mind on all points. Then Gunnar stands up, and Thrain too, and they go to the cross bench. Gunnar asked that mother and daughter whether they would say yes to this bargain. They said they would find no fault in it, and Holger had betrothed her daughter. Then the places of the women were shifted again, and now Thorhalla sate between the brides. And now the feast sped on well, and when it was over, Hauskuld and his company ride west, but the men of Wrong River rode to their own abode. Gunnar gave many gifts, and that made him much liked. Hallgerda took the housekeeping under her, and stood up for her rights in word and deed. Thorgerda took the housekeeping at Britwater, and was a good housewife. 